Good evening. You're watching N1's English Language News Hungary Report. Simon Sheffron, thanks for joining us. Viktor Orbán is a Europe's strongest leader, not Angela Merkel or Emmanuel Macron. This is what Tommy Robinson said to a Hungarian news portal. The British political activist said Hungary has been a protector of Europe several times in the past, and now it is more important than ever before for Hungary and the V4 countries, as he put it, to defend the continent from the invasion. Not a day goes by without the police intercepting illegal migrants who try to enter Hungary through the border closure. Despite the Balkan migration route no longer crossing Hungary's territory, illegal immigrants are still attempting to cross the Serbian-Hungarian border. Hungary closed its southern border more than 1,300 days ago with a fence. Physical protection has been supported with strict legislation against illegal migration. And in fact, For many years we all thought of Merkel and Macron when someone mentioned leaders of Europe. But now people look at Viktor Orban and V4 leaders as true European leaders, said Tommy Robinson in an interview to Pestishatsog.hu news portal. The British political activist was imprisoned in Britain a year ago because he wanted to report on the court hearing of Muslims who were accused of abusing women and little girls. In the interview, the activist emphasized that Hungary has been a protector of Europe several times in the past, and now there is a greater need than ever for Hungary and the V4 countries to defend the continent from the invasion. He said years ago no one in the UK knew who the leader of Hungary was, but now Viktor Orban is well known and celebrated there. Tommy Robinson added that the Hungarian Prime Minister proved himself to be the strongest leader of Europe, for which British people are very thankful for. Tommy Robinson called the European Union a dictatorship. Its leaders do not want to listen to the concerns of certain member countries. He thinks that there is a great need for a big change in Brussels. There may be 200 million Christians in the world, 200 million Christians in the world who cannot practice their religion freely, said Marc Fromager, the French director of Aid to the Church in Need, when he met Viktor Orban in Budapest. He added that French citizens are more and more concerned, as he put it, about the invasion of migrants, and they understand that Hungarian people have the right to protect their borders. He agreed with the Hungarian prime minister in that help must be taken to where the trouble is. Prime Minister Viktor Orban also urged ethnic Hungarians in Slovakia to vote for a party of the Hungarian com community. At a meeting with the president of MKP, he said that the result of the European parliamentary election would fundamentally shape the lives of our children and of the next generations. The EP election is held in Slovakia on the 25th of May this Saturday. The former deputy mayor of Kolozsvár appealed to the European Court of Human Rights as she was sentenced to two years suspended imprisonment for abuse of influence. And Anna Horváth's lawyer said the charges were based on wiretaped conversations that were manipulated and the recording was incorrectly translated into Romanian. The former deputy mayor, also vice president of RMDS, said her conscience is clear. Anna Horvat said she will not give in and ask everyone to trust the leaders of the Hungarian community. The upcoming elections on the 26th is the best opportunity to show those who bring up these sort of issues, who slander and want to remove Hungarian leaders, community leaders and people like myself from public life, to show them that a community can join together and can show strength, as when it comes to these elections, they're the ones providing us with ammunition. Tax exem exemption for mothers with four children that will come into effect from next year is unique in the world, said Katalin Novak. The state secretary for family and youth affairs emphasized that they wanted the young Hungarians face fewer problems when establishing a family. The government measure benefits some 40,000 women today in Hungary. <laughs> One-year-old Philomena is calling her mother. She's the smallest in the family. There are six children altogether. The parents do everything to provide for them. The mother says the personal income tax exemption will be great help to them. We can send them to learn languages or to camps, which we may not have had the opportunity to do so. So they'll get to experience more throughout their lives, said the mother. Come January 2020, mothers of four more children will receive the personal tax exemption. Those who have already or are currently raising or are planning to raise four children will never have to pay tax again. This support currently affects 40,000 mothers in Hungary.
Ez egy hungarikum. State Secretary Katalin Novák said, currently European leaders wish to resolve demographic decline with settling in migrants. Hungary, on the other hand, uses family support measures. Migration can be considered an answer, but we believe it is not a good answer, as it may be promising in the short term, but in the long term run, the consequences for the community's culture are imaginable. And it is possible to give an answer that does not consider migration as a solution, but supports the birth of children instead, the state secretary said. Katalin Novak emphasized the Hungarian government is at a forefront of GDP proportional family support, which means that it provides as much help as possible to families. The Indian automotive supplier Madarsan Group has expanded its capacity in Turkava. A grant of nearly 1.5 billion forints, more than 4.5 million euros, were provided by the Hungarian government for the construction of the company's plastic injection molding plant. Car parts and plastic elements are produced there. At the inauguration of the factory, Peter Sieta said that today Hungary was one of the winners of the new world economic era. The Minister of Foreign Affairs and Trade added that the success of the opening to the East strategy is demonstrated by the growing number of Indian companies. It's in Hungary's interest to have as many Indian companies choose Hungary as destinations for their investments as possible. And Hungary being more and more successful in this did not happen by chance. It didn't just happen. We had to issue very serious economic policy measures to achieve this. Today, we can proudly say that Hungary has the lowest tax rates in all of Europe. Chinese-Hungarian relations also play an important role in resolving global challenges, said the Speaker of the Hungarian Parliament when meeting the President of the Standing Committee of the Chinese People's Congress. Laszlo Kovic said 2019 is the 70th anniversary of the establishment of Hungarian-Chinese diplomatic relations, which is a good opportunity to further expand cooperation. We hope that by the end of the year, not only Beijing, but three other Chinese cities will be directly linked with Budapest by non-stop flights. And this will promote our economic and tourism relations. Street Food Weekend will be organized for the third time on the main street of Zalaegerszeg next weekend. More than 20 food trucks will offer special street food, burgers, grilled delicacies and giant pancakes. The event will also have surprises for cultural lovers and as an arts festival will be held for the first time for the pleasure of amateur and slam poets as well as actors. The Blessed Gisela Archdiocese Collection's new exhibition entitled From Naples to Venice presents two centuries of the Italian Baroque painting in Vesprim. The exhibit gives a glimpse into the Italian Baroque painting of the 17th and 18th century. In addition to the own collection, paintings of the collection of the Christian Museum in Estergom, the Dobo Museum in Eger and the Matthias Church in the Buddha Castle can also be seen by those interested. That's all for now. We'll be back tomorrow night at around the same time. And please stay tuned for our German, Russian and Chinese language news. Thanks for watching. Take care. Good night.